I'm I'm all, you know I go back in that music man. I, I look at like when I look at the the beats and stuff. You say you did two two songs on there, and and like did you ever do anything with Boosie? Yeah, I did uh, some of his early stuff, like when he first went over the trill. Yeah, uh, song called Head Buster. Yeah, the one, the one with Pimp C on it. Yeah. I'm with the gangster niggas that ain't bought the bluffing. Tough sip of weed, spit a strictly head busting. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. you did that one. Yeah, man, that well, thing was hard, boy. That. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E. He the reason you see. I mean, somebody said Boosie. They think Boosie better than Pimp C. That's because they're young. I give them that. When they're young, they don't know no better. <laughs> you, am I right? Yeah, because they never they yeah. never dissected Pimp C. <laughs> they wasn't there when Tell Me Something Good came out. They wasn't there when uh, when Pocket Full of Stones come out. Dope had just hit the city. People had just started. New Jack City wasn't had long been come out. Cash money wasn't around, but they were thinking about how to. They 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 wanted to be a part of this thing. Am I right? Yeah. So Sometimes it takes. It's the it's the age gaps. I think. Yeah. Like back in the day, you couldn't tell me that uh, Keith Sweat uh, wasn't better than Smokey Robinson. But as I that, got that's older, a good example. As I got old, I'm like, man, and and especially like after finding out all of the stuff that he all wrote. All the stuff. Yeah. yeah Smokey like, was a right writer. writer hell no. Hell of a writer. Hell no, no, he ain't, ain't topping Smokey. Yeah, but yeah. you know, but I didn't, I wasn't highly exposed to him as a kid. I, I knew Keep Sweat and that whole everything moving forward. You know what I'm saying? That's it. That's yeah, it. But as you talk about uh, Smokey, did anybody tell you as a kid that you reminded them of him? <laughs> yeah, my best friend coming up as a kid. Every time I went over their house, she, hey, Smokey. <laughs> <laughs> it's like when you said his name, it like it just dawned on me because you light like him and you have the yeah. eyes like he yeah. does. Yeah, oh. yeah. She used to call me Smokey when I was a kid. I just wow. thought of Yetta that. Yetta Williams, God bless her soul. Man, um, I, um, like I said, I'm gonna go back into that that Boosie a little bit. Cause Boosie is uh, um, like said a said Webby. You had a no, no, about no, Webby. no. I I had already messed with him about Webby, mm -hmm. but Boosie, I wanted to go over to him because I, I I well, I did ask him, did he think Webby could still rap? Right. Rap, you know, because he's been going through a lot lately. Mm -hmm. He had wore a, a girl old type shirt with a meat coat. I think that was a tank top pulled up. I don't know what the <laughs> hell he was doing. Yeah, it I was saw it. it was crazy. Yeah. But at the end of the day, <laughs> that's a girl type shirt. <laughs> Yeah, but that's my guy. Yeah. He got little daughters and everything else. I ain't playing with my, my I ain't, he ain't going. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That's my guy. Then why so, would he wear something like that then? He probably just was having a good time. Might have been drinking a little bit. Having, you know, people like to have a good time. I had an old uncle named, <laughs> uncle, I had an old cousin named Clint. He get drunk and do all kind of stuff. You okay. never know what he might do. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you, you done seen that guy. Like, like people act yeah. like these guys don't get older. People act like these guys. These guys are in their 30s now, right? 40s, 30s and 40s? 30s. Uh, at the, 30s, I guess. These guys are, are getting older. Um, I expect them to be people and go through things like anybody else. Only mm -hmm. difference is theirs get to display on the internet. That's the only thing, man. And That's the only thing. It's like, is yeah, I think fame is overrated. <laughs> yeah, me too. It, it, it's kind of like everybody, do, they, got the, they got the bullseye on you, right? Yeah. I always ask people, I'm like, you know, you want the fame, you want to be like all these celebrities, but do you really know what comes Come with, with it? it? And they'll say, yeah, they know, because, of course, you see it on, on TV, but to see it and actually be in it is two totally different things to me. Because we be mad at some celebrities the way how they treat their fans, because I'm like, well, you signed up for this, and this includes fans, yep. off day or not. When you go to work, you at work. So once you're around your fans, you're at work. You're at Even work. if you're not singing, not rapping, whatever, you're at work. Mm -hmm. So you got to put that face on, smile, do with your... Because these are the people who are buying your music, downloading your music, whatever, buying your, your merch, everything, yeah. supporting you, and some so of to say. people worship you, you know what I'm saying? Right. Some of those people really, like, they get up in the morning thinking about you right. go to sleep thinking about you. So it's, yeah, you got to be careful. And some it. people, and some people don't care, they'll... No, no, no autographs or no pictures or no. Yeah. But I can see how some people make it bad for others because some people right. take it to the, they'll see that celebrity with their kids and try to 
bum rush them and you know be disrespectful and so forth so yeah. it makes you because i remember when Halle berry you remember in the past when paparazzi and whatever would always try to do that even when she had her child with her mm -hmm. and she tried to sue them and do all this other stuff because of that yeah you know what i mean because they take it to the limit yeah no, yeah. she didn't. She had checked one of them. Yeah, she guys. did. They, she yeah. ran in. Yeah. I think a lot of times they have to check them. They live that life every day. At some point, they will have to check them. They will have to do something to let them, you know. You you just can take only so much, right? Yeah. So you I get, get tired it. of it. Everybody's human being. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think I'm, I'm all, you know, I go back in that music, man. I, I look at, like, when I look at the the beats and stuff, you say you did two two songs on there and and, like, did you ever do anything with Boosie? Yeah, I did uh, some of his early stuff, like when he first went over the trill. Yeah. Uh, song called Head Busser. Bust, hold up, hold up. Head Busser, hard stopper, you don't want to start, partner creep. Yeah. The one, the one with Pimp C on it? Yeah. I'm with the gangster niggas that ain't bought the bluffing. To a sip of weed, spit a strictly head busting. Yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah. you did that one. Yeah. Man, that well, thing was hard, boy. That, made the, they had another rent house in Baton Rouge. We were just hanging out there and uh, I was working on the track and I think Pimp was in town for like maybe a weekend or something like that and uh, he came over to the house and he heard the beat and he had thought about this concept he said yeah we're going to be the V12 boys so it's supposed <laughs> to be him Boosie and I think it was Webby but it was supposed to be three of them they were going to call themselves the V12 boys really no, I don't think Webby was in it <laughs> I think it was just Pimp and Boosie just Pimp and Boosie yeah. early on it was just Pimp and Boosie yeah yeah. I remember because I, yeah. I I was watching that move. Yeah, that's why you had here at the beginning of that song, Pimp say V12 boys. That's like that was his introduction of the V12 boys. V12 boys and this bitch serving chickens, never tricking. Know what I'm talking about? Really? He, yeah, he was gonna do an album with Boosie called the V12 boys because back then. The V12 Benzes was like real, yeah, real yeah. Hot. He always talked about. He, he always, always put them in the round. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, got the that, V12 man, that been Benz so dope. parked outside. That it ain't been enough so dope, room man. to keep the girls. Yeah, yeah. That's my boy, man. Got the V12 Benz V12, V12 boy. That boy. Boy. Dope, man. <laughs> that dude, he, he, he had all kind of ideas, man. They would just pop out of him, man. And now all of them just sound brilliant. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E. He the reason you see me. V12 boys and this bitch serving chickens, never tricking. Know what I'm talking about? Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E. He the reason you see me.